from Studio 3C in Rockefeller Center, this is News 4 New York. People go to extreme lengths to get rid of bed bugs, but is it worth burning down your home? Some exterminators are offering to fry the insects with unbearable heat. But as the I-Team's Chris Glorioso found out, where there's heat, sometimes there's fire. When bed bugs invade, people will do almost anything to stop the incessant bites. Itching everywhere, bumps on your body. It's a bunch of bites in one spot. But there's a new warning about one extermination method that can go horribly wrong. In Edmonton, Canada, a 50 unit condominium building went up in flames during a bed bug treatment. In Woodbury, New Jersey, a home burned down. The owner was trying to kill bed bugs. It burns down people's homes in the name of getting rid of the bugs. Behind both of those fires was a pest control treatment called radiant heat. We turn on the fan. It's a way of killing insects using industrial heaters to raise a room's temperature above 120 degrees. Exposure to that heat for just an hour and a half can eradicate bed bugs. But if the heaters are not properly monitored, fire hazards are everywhere. Glenn Waldorf of Bell Environmental Pest Control says the risks are not worth the rewards. You know, consumers are panicked. I mean, you have bed bugs in your home, you have these little vampires in your bed biting you. And I mean, the worst thing that can happen is you can burn your house down and you're risking your life. Aside from the fires in Canada and New Jersey, heat treatments have sparked flames in Dayton, Ohio, and Cincinnati. You have to worry about safety. Robert Soriano owns Bliss Environmental, a tri-state pest control company that not only uses but defends radiant heat as the best way to kill bed bugs. He says his electric heaters are much safer than propane heaters or do-it-yourself treatments. Sometimes the cheapest is not the dearest, and you can see that buildings burning, homes burning, artwork burning, that puts a good light that you need a professional exterminating company, a pest management company. Exterminators that use heat say they also use technology to reduce the fire hazards. These sensors allow workers outside to monitor the temperatures inside, and if it gets too hot, they just pull the plug. Sensor one's at 84, sensor two. Despite efforts to make thermal treatments fire safe, Glenn Waldorf says it's far better to freeze bed bugs than to fry them. He uses dry ice. And although you can't freeze an entire room, there's no risk of fabric catching fire. That's a pretty serious danger that we just don't think is worth the risk to get rid of some insects. Reporting from Greenwich, Connecticut, Chris Glorioso, News 4 New York.